New details from our partners at the Denver Post, revealing tonight the possible plot behind the murder of the Colorado prison chief, Tom Clements, at the hands of Evan Ebel. 7 News reporter Mark Stewart live with new information. And Mark, this story is getting reaction from law enforcement. It is, Mike. In fact, late today, the El Paso County Sheriff's Office issued this news release basically saying it's not the source of the information in the story. The Denver Post protecting its source, saying the information is from someone who has seen sealed court records and is close to the investigation. This crime scene and monument appears to have been months in the making. Tom Clements gunned down here in his own home by Evan Ebel. According to our news partners at the Denver Post, the plot was crafted here inside the Sterling Correctional Facility. Their source says 211 gang leader Benjamin Davis recruited Ebel to kill Clements as a payback after Davis protected Ebel from a rival gang that threatened him while in prison. Once Ebel was released, the source says he was in constant contact with members of the 211 gang. The source telling the Post after Ebel cut off his ankle bracelet, he stayed at a Denver hotel with a woman waiting for a call to go. Authorities believe gang members helped to arrange the murder of Nate Leon, the father who was working as a pizza driver to make some extra money. They also think the gang helped him get mismatched license plates and money to buy a car. Eventually, Ebel's spree came to an end here outside of Dallas, Texas, where he was shot by a deputy after a chase. As to why he drove to Texas, the source says a fellow gang member lived there. And while the El Paso County Sheriff is distancing itself from this particular report, the undersheriff is telling ABC News anyone who was involved in this case is a potential target. This after a judge was recently forced to seek protection. You can see that interview tomorrow morning on Good Morning America. Reporting live tonight, Mark Stewart, 7 News.